All right, sound check, one, two, how we doing? It is mailbag o'clock on Sunday, and we are in the annex today with the kittens. <laughs> oh, that's so cute, I hope that's on the camera for you guys. It's that cashmere riding, is literally riding mom around. He only got to go a few steps though. Super cute. All right, let's check to make sure the sound is working. I think it is good. Okay, sound good. Thanks, thanks, Stockholm Ed. All right, and uh, let's jump right in with news of the week. So, um, first and foremost, you know that um, uh, Holiday and Monday went to their home yesterday. They had a flight down to Pittsburgh, and uh, everything went great. We've got some pictures of them in their new house, digging into some food, and I think they're going to do just great. So I'm real excited about that fact. Um, then uh, the other big news, I guess, is we had some real sick kittens at the beginning of this week, and uh, honestly, I was, I was pretty concerned about it, but um, everybody's doing great now. It's, uh, it's, we're just, everything's fantastic. Um, the reason that you don't see Gable here along with the other kittens if you're counting is not because he's feeling sick but because he's gotten a little bit used to hanging out in the spa already from his time in quarantine there and uh, he settled down in DJ's lap to watch some TV with her and she wanted to keep him in there for a while until he decides to get up and start running around and then I'm sure she'll deliver him uh, in here, but uh, until then she's just gonna hang out with her little buddy Gable So he's fine. That's the only reason he's not in here right now um, he's, he's really doing great. I'm, I'm super super happy about it uh, I think that's really it for news. Oh, oh, you know what there is a little bit more news though So first off we're still looking for an adopter for uh, Cal who is you know a playful wonderful sweetheart of a cat and I know you don't get to see it often enough, but um, just as an example of, of what, you know, she's like, the, the parts that you don't get to see so often. Um, you've seen her, obviously, running around like a freak and playing in the tunnel and, uh, and also just, you know, having a good old time. But uh, last night she came and hung out around with DJ and I for a long time in the spa. And after she gets done sort of exploring and playing and stuff, when she's ready to settle down, she loves to just climb up on the bed and snuggle up next to somebody. Or as I was sitting in my chair last night and playing video games, she climbed right up on my lap to game with me and uh, loves to get petted and, and snuggled with. And that's just, it's why she's everything. You know, as far as a cat goes, I just, it's unbelievable to me that of all the mom cats, uh, Cal is one that, that hasn't quite found her adopter yet. Now, I do know some applications have come in. I don't ever look at them, um, you know, Dawes does that, so I have no idea if they're for Cal or if they're for somebody else. Uh, you know, if you applied for Cal, don't take what I'm saying right now as a sign that you're not approved. I, I don't know. I don't have anything to do with that. Um, so uh, uh, my fingers are crossed for you, though, if you did, because uh, she's going to make somebody really happy. Um, and that leaves us with Cuddles, who is the mom to four of these kittens. And I know everybody has a lot of questions about her and uh, where she is and what's going on. So she's right across the hall in her own private room, what was once uh, Brooke's room or the we call it the spare room officially. But it gets a lot of names, the rainbow room. Um, she's right over there. Uh, she's having a good time. I think that she is... She was pretty much done with her kittens before she went over there, and now I'm sure she's done with them. I, I, I feel like if I brought her in here to see them, she would probably just be upset. Um, and she doesn't, you know, when she, sometimes you hear her meowing uh, a little bit here and there, but when she is, she's not meowing for her kittens. She's meowing for us. Uh, she's typically not even at her door when she does it. She's over at the window. Uh, when I go in there, then she's just, she's quiet, you know, she doesn't meow when we're in the room. She just wants to have our attention. So that's great. Uh, but the big news about Cuddles is not that she's in the next room. It's that I've made the, the decision that she needs to go to somebody that has enough time to work with her. And I, I don't. So that's, uh, sort of the final word on that is going to be that she is going to go to another foster, um, unless, you know, if somebody feels like she's the perfect cat for them for some reason and wants to apply, there's still time to do that. Um, but uh, my, my 
supposition is that's not going to be the case and she's going to go to another foster. That foster is someone that sort of specializes in kittens and cats that need a little bit of extra care and um, isn't available yet, but they are, I think, already committed to taking her as soon as they can, which is going to be in a couple weeks, I think, next month, at uh, the start of next month, or may maybe a week or two into next month. So if I can, I'm going to try to get her spayed before then, and of course I'm going to continue to work with her as well as I can, but uh, I do think that when she goes to a foster that, that can really dedicate their time to her, she is going to thrive, and it's going to be the best thing for her. It, she's just going to do fantastic. Meanwhile, the kittens, of course, will stay here. They're fully part of Skye's family now, and I think it's what's best for them is to, to have this family and this sort of influence on them as they're growing up is going to do them really well. So the plan then, you know, uh, just to sum up, is uh, uh, Cuddle's kittens are going to stay here as they have been and, and continue to thrive in this family. And Cuddles herself is going to go to a different Dawes foster um, probably in a couple few weeks. So, and that's the plan. I still am going to get a camera in her room at some point as soon as I have some extra time for that, just to sort of put a cap on, uh, you know, how much time I, I haven't had. Um, but I've gotten a lot done this week, too. Um, now that we didn't have uh, Gable to care for, you know, so specifically, I was able to start cleaning the house and taking care of some things and uh, DJ wanted to spend some time together yesterday so we turned over an entire garden out front one of the three that we have the smallest one of the three but still it was a lot of physical labor and uh, I'm a bit worn out today as a result but uh, but it was fun it was good so I don't know why I said that I feel like I, I had some reason I said it but whatever uh, okay well uh, I thought I remembered picking up some letters when I was at the post office, but I must have misremembered because there aren't any in here. It may have just been these two little packages might have been stuffed in the mailbox, and that might be what I'm thinking of. Um, as for the rest, we've just got a few packages here. I don't think mailbag is going to take very long today. And thank you so much for joining me on Sunday and, and understanding that, you know, uh, it, uh, we needed to move it to Sunday for what I think were, were good reasons. Um... Well, I'm here, I'm going to just take a look real quick at the camera angles, the camera angle, and see if I need to adjust it. Yeah, that's not, I mean, I'm doing what I can, so that's fine. You know what, we're probably better off with the wide angle here anyway. We're just going to keep it that way. We'll do what we can. <laughs> oh, it's okay, Teaspoon. Teaspoon and Alcove were just having a good time trying to play in the bedroom. Teaspoon was really trying to actually play with Alcove, like patting her on the head. Oh, now he's getting a little too much, I think. Maybe we should let him go. There's too many kittens at once, huh? He was definitely playing when they were in the bedroom, but that right there was irritation. Hang on one sec. got to bring him all the way in there. Uh, oh, I'm it. Okay, sorry about that. DJ's, uh, like I mentioned, watching TV with Gable, and I can't just walk in there and have the TV playing. Um, so, anyway, she's got Teaspoon, uh, and Cal is not, uh, well, that's not entirely true that Cal's not a fan of Teaspoon. Lately, Cal has been trying to play with Teaspoon, but t according to Teaspoon, she, she burned that bridge, and uh, um, he's, he's not willing to play with her now. He sees her play now as just more... Uh, aggression, I think, because he's already kind of, you know, once bitten, twice shy. He, not, he wasn't literally bitten, but you know what I mean. So, um, uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, but it's cool to see that she is trying to be friends with Teaspoon now, and she wants to play with him. It's just a shame that she went through that period when she didn't want to be friends with him, and he's kind of hanging on to that. Uh, maybe that's the way it is. It's not a big deal. Um, I do think that she 
could be friends with any cat, of course, but uh, sometimes it takes a little bit of work when she's spicy for a while and then decides to change her mind. Not everybody's on board, so... Okay, uh, hang on, I gotta check something. Uh, I covered up this address and I wanted to see if... Yeah, okay. This is from Mishi uh, on the Discord. And it looks like socks. Very cute little socks. This one has tiny, tiny little kittens and planets on it. I love it. And this one has... Oh, uh, Iron Man kitten. That's very cool. It's a little kitten in like an Iron Man suit. Uh, I guess it's not exactly Iron Man, but it does it does definitely have an Iron Man feel to it. Uh, those are super cute together. I don't I, I don't know how. Well, I, is it better if I hold these up here like this if I want to show you something? Wait, whoa, where is that camera even pointing? I guess that's about right. I don't know if that's better or not, but those are really cute. Mishi, thank you so much for the socks. Uh, socks are always good. Okay. And, oh, it looks like we have more socks. This one is just addressed to M Mr. Academy. Uh, and I don't know if there's... Well, there's a piece of paper here. Let's see if there's a note. It's from a place called Sock Dreams. Very cool. And it says... Um, <laughs> well, there's a name on it, but that's it. Just the name of the person who ordered it. So I am going to say thank you very much to Kate. Uh, I believe. Kate, that's what I'm going with anyway. And if you are the Kate who sent this and want to take credit somewhere, please do. So the socks that we have, oh, and a sticker too. That's perfect. Uh, this sticker is very cool. Um, uh, let's see, this is the, I'm trying this again, even though I don't know if it's working at all. Uh, that's the sticker. Now we have two pairs of socks here. One is Scientist Cats. How cool. That's uh, one holding like a, a beaker, and there's a little uh, Erlen, not Erlenmeyer flask. What is the one with the curved top? Uh, I can't remember. And then uh, they're wearing lab coats. One of them's got a clipboard. That is that is really cool. And the other one is sort of an abstract camo pattern. It says "Crazy Cat Dude," and there's a cat smoking a pipe. Really, really cool socks. Uh, thank you to uh, Kate, I suppose. All right, that's, I'm trying that. We're going with that. Doing the best we can out here. That's a lot of socks today. Thank you for the socks. I won't have to do my laundry right away. All right. <laughs> uh, okay, well, let's just keep rolling here. Again, I think this is going to be a pretty quick one. I'm not going to try to artificially draw it out. It will just go as fast as it does. I think there's a perfect amount of stuff, uh, honestly. It is much better than when we get way too much stuff. You guys are so generous, it can it can be overwhelming. So, you guys also, you seem really tired out, little kittens, aren't you? you can, I don't know if anybody can see you sleeping back here on this thing there. I bet they can now. Hi, and you're in the, the oh, hi, you're in the ball? Okay. Thought you might need some extra for after the poop problems from Rhonda. Oh, Rhonda, you're so right. Yeah, uh, uh, that is making reference to the fact there's no tunnel in here right now because these kids haven't quite all learned that the tunnel is not a litter box yet. Um, I don't know what's up with that, but um, I have uh, already washed the two tunnels that we've had in here a couple times, and they are currently in the wash again. When I say in the wash, they don't get to go through the machine. It just wouldn't work. Uh, but we use the middle bathroom as a sort of a cleaning room and uh, I usually toss them in the bathtub in there and then I'll sort of fill it up with um, either Vercon. I've done that where I filled the whole tub with water and Vercon or antiviral, let the stuff soak in there and then I drain it and rinse it. Or uh, more commonly I'll use an enzymatic cleaner and put that in the tub and fill it up halfway and soak the stuff a little bit and then rinse it out. Uh, so, uh, or both, one after the other, um, but uh, they're in there right now and not even soaking yet. I just sort of sprayed them down and I'll get back to them later. So, uh, another tunnel is always good and, you know, they do need, um, you know, I'm mentioning the fact they don't have one right now and we might as well, uh, what do they say, in for a penny, in for a pound, right? Uh, as long as we're already washing all the tunnels, might as well give them whatever Rhonda's sent. So, you guys want a, a new tunnel? Right, meow? Let's see what we got. I can see there's mesh on it. Oh! Oh, it looks like it might be the same tunnel. Look at that. Just a duplicate tunnel. That works out pretty well. 
Um, of course, that means that they are definitely going to see it as just a place to poop. Let's give them half. You know what? Let's do that because this is fun for them to play on. And if we give them half, then we can double the amount of pooped on tunnels that we have uh, by uh, give them one. And then when they poop on this one, we'll give them another. Uh, so thank you, Rhonda. That's very cool. I love this tunnel. I saw, by the way, on the Amazon listing for this thing that everybody shared that uh, it's meant to be put the other way with the colored side up and the mesh side down, which is cool. Um, you know, I'm sure that works. But I like the mesh side up because then we can look in on the kittens a little bit easier. I bet the mesh side down would be a lot of fun for kittens, though. Um, and also, then they would poop on the floor uh, a little bit more than they do. <laughs> it's a mixed bag, isn't it? So, uh, Rhonda, thank you so much for the uh, second backup rainbow tunnel. Much appreciated. And one of those would look great in the rainbow room once these guys are done using it, too. So that's ideal. All right, next up, April in Asheville has sent, ooh, a whole bunch of things that look like uh, let's see, it's addressed to Mr. A, Dr. DJ, Calendar, Cuddles, and Skylight. And I see uh, there's a note and a note. So let's see what that's about. This might be a pop-up note. Oh, it's so cute. It's two little kitties uh, sort of sitting next to each other with their tails intertwined in flowers with little hearts. And indeed, it is a pop-up card. It says, Happy Mother's Day. I see, addressed to the mothers. And they are cute little kitties outdoors playing in flowers. Look how pretty that is. There we go. We'll leave that out there for the kittens to chew on. And there's also a note. And the note says, Good morning, everyone, and happy Catter Day. My cats and I are finally settled in our new house and able to keep up with the shenanigans from these two classes. Oh, Joyce, could you be any cuter? Joyce is over there with her buddy Marshmallow. Um... I can't wait for everyone to be healthy again and be able to live with the portal open. Well, there you go. Now we've got that going on for sure. Uh, Sky is already on my list for Mom Cat of the Year. Speaking of moms, happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there, be you cat or human. I choose to fill my life with babies of the four-legged variety instead of the two-legged kind and have never regretted that decision. Pets bring so much joy to the world and I'm very happy to have stumbled upon K.A. many years ago. Now I can watch cats 24-7 and not have to clean all those litter boxes. Uh, it's just, I, for some reason, I just had a sudden panic that I was talking to myself because I forgot to unmute the mic, but I can see it's fine. So, okay, keep going. Um, I have my hands full with three cats and don't know how you keep up with all of them, but I am so grateful that you do. So, let's make it official and announce Mr. A from Mom Cat of the Year. Oh my goodness. Okay. I've enclosed a couple of small gifts for you because everyone needs lobster socks. Ooh, these are lobster socks, by the way. They have lobsters and crabs and shrimp, so they're really crustacean socks. Oh, they're actually really Old Bay socks. They say Old Bay, and they've got the Old Bay color on them. I should have noticed that first off. And then they have a crab and a lobster and a shrimp or a prawn on them. Very cool. Now, as much as I am sort of infamous for not uh, ever having had a lobster that I enjoyed, I've had many crabs that I've enjoyed. Ooh, that doesn't sound right. Uh, I do love uh, crab, though. It's wonderful uh, if it's prepared well and, uh, and if you don't have to look at its face. <laughs> but, uh, but, yeah. Okay. Um, uh, I'm kind of indifferent on shrimp. They're kind of like miniature lobster, and, you know, they're, they're honestly not all that great. Uh, I could live without them. Uh, let's see. So, where was I? Um, <laughs> uh, small gifts for you, because everyone needs lobster socks, and kittens need tissue pits. Yes, well, there is a little bit of tissue in here, and I think that that's something that these kittens could have... Uh, as an introduction to tissue, because we tried to give them the pit before and they weren't quite ready for it. I bet they would be now, but if I put the tissue in this ball, then that's kind of like a starter tissue pit, and they can pull it out and play with it and get used to the way it crinkles, and maybe be ready for a real tissue pit again soon. So let's do that, and you say... Oh, and there's one more thing that you sent here wonderfully. You sent me a local paper, the Mountain Express with Legends of the Malt. Ooh, Highland Brewing celebrates 30th anniversary. Oh, fantastic. 
Uh, this will be fun for me to take a look at, too. I love reading local papers, so thank you for that. Okay. Uh, I can't wait to see everyone at KACon next month and hope everyone is excited for the upcoming performance of Jubilation. I've been practicing often. We have incredible music selection this year. Until then, pet kittens and ramble on from April in Asheville, a.k.a. Ginger Tuffy Cat, Proud Mom to G, Joey, and Neo. Uh, thank you so much for all of it. It's wonderful. And um, I am also looking forward to KACon. Now, I don't think I've said this to anybody except for DJ yet, but I have um, a little bit of a surprise planned for KA Con that uh, it's not anything that's going to be disruptive to what the planning committee has, has planned, um, but um, uh, let's just say that, uh, that we're going to have, I'm going to have a good time uh, going and um, yeah, uh, you'll see, it'll be fun. So there we go. Just a little bit of a teaser for any of you that were putting off getting your ticket to KACon to uh, hang out with all of the Kitten Academy fans. And it's really, it's about all of you. It's not about me at all. And I would hate to ever suggest that it is about me or make it about me. It's not how it is. Thank goodness, because I couldn't handle that kind of stress. Um, but uh, I will be there, and I think I'm going to have a, as much of a good time as I always do and um, bring a little something for uh, everyone to enjoy at the same time. So there we go. All right, Old Bay socks. Very cool. I do like Old Bay. Uh, Old Bay, you know, on crab. It's, it's good stuff. Okay, this feels like it's also a tunnel. And this one is oh, also from Rhonda. Whoa, okay, maybe we got a couple tunnels from you. Wow, that's generous. Indeed. Wow, it looks like the same one again. Now, let's just see. Did you send us basically four tunnels then? Because, you know, you've got them in halves. Well, it just says a gift for you. All right. I can see it is the same one again. Uh, I guess I could open it up to make sure it's rainbow. It just says color gradient on the outside, but it's the same brand. And let's just take a peek and see how many. Oh, yep. Exact same. That's perfect. All right. Well, now we've definitely got enough tunnels for these kids to poop on. And anybody that, I guess, stays a big fan of the tunnel. Sorry for all the noise there. Uh, anyone that's a big fan of the tunnel then might be able to take one with them. I mean, speaking of, when um, Cal gets adopted, I think she's got to take the tunnel that's downstairs that she loves, loves playing in so much. That probably ought to go with her. So it's nice that we've got a couple of spare tunnels going on here. We've got a stock, a tunnel stock now. Um, so uh, Rhonda, thank you very, very much. That's super generous. Okay. Next up, we have something from Mayhem Boozle and Company. So let's see what that's all about. Nice recycled Amazon Prime box here. As I always say, the best kind of recycling is just to reuse something. There's no loss that way. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Addressed to Skylight and Cuddles. Oh, and another letter too. So let's see what we got. Hang on. So Skylight and Cuddles. We're going to start with yours, Sky. Oh, shiny. What is a perfect mom, it says, with a bunch of little cute kitten faces. Oh, it's a, like a little booklet. Head and shoulders above the rest. Here, let me see if I can read it to you. Oh, you can always... Here, what is a perfect mom? You can always spot a perfect mom. Uh, head and shoulders above the rest. <laughs> uh, that's cute, with the little kitten in the drawer. She may not approve of all you do, but still thinks you deserve the best. Organic milk, that's cute. She al she's always ready to lend an ear or hurry to your defense. She knows you can get into mischief, but trusts you to use common sense. A perfect mom likes to meet your friends. She's there whenever you call. She's always, she always hopes you'll look your best and grow up straight and tall. <laughs> That's cute with him looking in the mirror. She'll go out on a limb for you, even if you've been bad. She knows what will take your mind off things whenever you feel sad. <laughs> She's singing all by myself with a shopping cart full of ice cream. That's a cute little edit. A perfect mom sees that you're well-trained, 
Glitter box training, perfect. But we'll let you relax a bit too. She deserves to be put on a pedestal. A perfect mom is you. Ah, Skylight and Cuddles, happy Mother's Day to two wonderful mom cats. It's been such a joy to watch you both take such wonderful care of your tinies. It's so great you get to do your last round of motherhood at KA with amazing help from a shiny butler. And then you can retire and embrace your inner kitten. Can't wait to see you both flourish in your forever homes. Much love and many spoogles. K bless 17 mayhem bamboozle and Daisy, uh, a long ago retired mom cat. How sweet. That's super cute. There's also a little note here that says skylight and cuddles. We hope she likes the toys we picked out. Our mom got us each one too, and they are super fun and have really great catnip inside. We want we went a bit bonkers when we tried ours out. Big sis Daisy did too. Much love, mayhem, and bamboozle. All right, well let's see what that is. There's also a note here for Dr. DJ. Okay, for Mr. A to read on mailbag. That's perfect. I love that because I would have wondered if it was just addressed to DJ if I was supposed to give it to her. Aw. And it's a little fish that says cuddles on it. That's adorable. And there's another one here that says skylight embroidered. How sweet. Wow, I'm almost... I, I want... Oh, I see now, you should have put this in the note whether I should give it to her right now, but I would like to save those for her endowments. She, she's got a lot of toys here. And um, I think that, that her eventual adopter is going to think that is super sweet. Um, you let me know if I need to put it out for her right now, though. Uh, you know how to do that. Meanwhile, thank you for saying on here that this is okay for me to read on mailbag, since I would have wondered about this if I should just give it straight to DJ. But now I know. These are really cute, by the way. Uh, that's, that's wonderful. Okay. Let's see here. So the note says, oh, it's got a doctor cat with a, a, a book, and it says the results are in. Um, you are the best mom to all KA cats ever. Huh, happy Mother's Day. Wow, that must be like um, uh, something that's uh, uh, custom printed. That's adorable. And then you've written, Dr. DJ, happy Mother's Day to a very special mom to cats. Your love and special attention to all tinies, mom, cats, and faculty helps make the already amazing Kitten Academy even more wonderful. Hope you get many spoogles from all of your kids. Much love, Cablast17, Mayhem, Bamboozle, and Daisy. Uh, do you like that I, uh, I pronounced that name uh, both ways so that uh, I covered all the bases and I'm sure to get it wrong at least once? Hi, Dr. DJ. We just wanted to say how much we both loves you and misses you. We are so happy we get to, got to have you be one of our moms when we were tinies. You are the best. We're so happy we still get to see you on the stream and hear your wonderful voice. It makes us both so happy. Our forever mom also works in a hospital, and we love giving her spoogles after work, just like we were taught to do at KA. We're glad you have never-ending students to give you their special kitten spoogles. Much love. Mayhem and Bamboozle, your two favorites. That's adorable. I know DJ is going to really appreciate a note from the kittens. That's always cute. Uh, that's, that's, that's great. Thank you for that. Uh, let's see. There was something I wanted to say. Oh, about DJ um, and Cuddles specifically, because Cuddles, uh, ever since I had medicated her and taken her to the vet and all the things that I've had to do for her benefit, um, she does not, she's not super appreciative of that, I think, and it, it did sort of damage our relationship, and it's been difficult for me to rebuild it. Uh, only, I don't think that it would be difficult in general, but it's difficult for me to take the time that it would require to get that done. That said, um, she has always just sort of taken to DJ more than to me. And I heard the most amazing thing. It, it really, I didn't even believe at first. Um, but DJ told me that she, first off, DJ goes in there and hangs out with her uh, fairly regularly and, and they get along great. Uh, but DJ told me that she actually went in there and picked her up, picked Cuddles up and sat her down on the sofa um, futon that's in there and hung out with her. And just the thought of like, just casually picking her up like a cat and sitting down with her, it, it, it blows my mind. Like, I can't even imagine that. And yet, uh, she's perfectly willing to do it for DJ. So, 
I also feel like maybe um, with somebody that she just has that innate sort of trust for, uh, she would also do very well. And DJ definitely hasn't got the time to be that person for her, but it's good to imagine that with the right foster, she might you know, um, not have, uh, not be that much work in, in the first place, possibly. So uh, I thought I had to share that with everybody because it just, it, it really, honestly, I'm, it was mind-blowing to me to even think. Um, but it's great, isn't it? It's wonderful to hear that. So, all right, moving right along. Here we have, well, it's fragile. Um, I guess I have to say fragile for people. I don't know if that's still on the bingo card or not. Uh, I need a new jokes, though. I mean, I can't just keep doing the same stuff forever, right? Uh, wow, this is... It's uh, some kind of contraption. Uh, like it's uh, metal on metal, kind of jingly. Um, let's see. What could it be? Uh-huh. Well, oh, I see. Cans of food. Well, that would do it. Uh, read letter first. Okay to read on stream. Thanks. Uh, is this the letter? I think this is the letter. Okay. Uh, let's see. And it's got, it's sealed with a cute little pusheen kitty. Mr. A and DJ. Uh, there, this, this tissue in here is really rocking out, and I want to put it where you guys can sort of see, too. Let me move it over here. I deliberately put this together, a little offset, to see how fun that might be. I don't know if it's fun or not, but I just want you to know that wasn't just a mistake, like when you button up your shirt one button off and don't notice all day long at the office. Um, not that I'm speaking from experience. Okay, we have more tissue here, but that's already looking pretty full, so we'll set that aside for the moment. Oh, and I'm supposed to read the note. It says, Happy Mother's Day with sparkly pink on it. Very cool. And inside it says, wait, you said read note first. Wait, didn't you? Read letter first. I think this might be the letter. I don't know. We're going to just go for it. I don't know if it really matters that much. Um, here we go. I think maybe you meant first isn't before you go through the box. So we'll just go with, Dear K.A., I hope you know how... I hope you know I see how hard you work, understand how much love it takes, and know what a difference you make. You deserve to be celebrated not just today, but every day. Love, Karen. Oh, Karen, thank you so much. It's very sparkly. I like it. Okay. Dear Mr. A and company, did you know Mother's Day is coming up? What do you guys do for your moms? Do the mama kittens get fun treats? Um, we don't celebrate many holidays, um, not because we have anything against them. Uh, we love holidays just like anybody does, but it's just never been something that's really on our radar. So... Uh, the short answer is the same thing that we do for uh, all holidays, which is nothing. <laughs> uh, our, the, our take on it has always been, like, if we want to do something special for somebody, then we'll just do it uh, if it occurs to us. And sadly, I, I think both DJ and I would feel like we're not that good at being appreciative the way that we feel in our hearts. We don't always show as well as we would like. So it probably is good to have holidays as a reminder of that once in a while. But uh, fundamentally, our, our opinion has always been, you know, if, we, if the mood strikes us, then we do it. And um, uh, we don't necessarily wait for a holiday for that. Um, so anyway, I have been in the throes of work stuff. So it's been insane. And it's going to get even more insane with summer coming up. I saw in the news there's already a storm with a chance of being made into a hurricane. Supposedly, it's going to be a higher amount of storms this season. Who knows? I see you have a spicy mama cat. That's so unusual. I watch videos of people who do TNR. Have you ever had to do spicy kittens in KA? Um, so, uh, first off, TNR, and you say it here, is a trap, neuter, and rescue. That's when people take cats that are typically, like, completely feral, and sh she's not that spicy. Uh, but they trap them, and then they get them spayed and neutered, and they put them back out in the wild again because it's just assumed that that's, that's their lifestyle, and it would be too much work to try to domesticate them, and it probably would never quite go right. Uh, and I think that's great. It's, it's so important to do that. If you have like a colony of cats near you um, that you know about, you can contact, uh, usually there's a local rescue that specializes in that, like Tails down by uh, Fairfield here does that almost exclusively, where 
um, that that helps keep the the population down because otherwise they just breed like crazy and it gets out of control and nobody it doesn't really benefit anybody to do that. Uh, so if you can get them all spayed and neutered, then they can live out their lives the way they want, but they don't continue to perpetuate the problem, uh, which is I think great. So. Um, have we ever had to do spicy kittens in KA? Not really. When I think of spicy cats that we've had, there were some early on that weren't spicy, but I was such a new foster that we gave them up to other fosters that could handle cats that just needed just a tiny bit more care. But I think if we can counter those same cats today, I wouldn't think twice about taking care of them here. Uh, then there was... Um, um, was it Thimble? I want to say Thimble was one that, that did have a little bit of an issue, but hers was weird in that she was great, except for when I would try to leave the room, instead of just sort of like trying to follow me or, or you know, meow at me not to go or something, she would attack my feet every time, like seriously try to attack them uh, just when I would leave, not at any other time. And that was unusual, but I don't know if it really rises to the level of being a spicy cat generally, because that was really just her one quirk, that just that. Um, uh, so, no, it's not something we do. We try to avoid it where we can. Um, we try to get mom cats that are sort of known to be nice and friendly, because that's, you know, the spicy cats is not what we specialize in. There's people that really do specialize in spicy cats and there's a special skill to that and it takes um, a certain amount of time too that that we typically don't do you know so it is what it is um, I think it's just they're scared and being defensive yeah that's true the videos I've watched usually it's not I, I certainly don't think that they're like when I say spicy cat you know it's I don't think that they are mean or or even necessarily angry like cats cats aren't like that uh ever they they don't that's people stuff you know cats um are just doing what they know and uh i don't think they ever mean offense so, uh, the worst thing they ever mean is i don't want you around because i don't trust you you know and that's fair like why should they uh you've got to earn that over time with some cats uh so um, let's see, uh, the videos I've watched usually say it takes up to a month for the cat to settle in and be less spicy, but once they get treats and pets, they just become so loving. How did DJ get the name Cuddles? So cute. I don't know how she picked that name, but it is cute for her. And she turns out for DJ, at least she is a Cuddles. So who knew? In the box. Okay. In the box, we have treats. I think these might be treats. These are the Shiba Pate. They're food treats. Um, let's see now. Hang on. Uh, treats to use as you see fit. We have canned food, fancy feast, as you see fit. We have cookies. Oh my goodness, cookies. Uh, we've got two sets of cookies that are for the humans, one for DJ, good for dunking with tea and coffee. They are lemon strawberry from Williams and Sonoma. Oh my goodness, they must be so good. And uh, lemon and, uh, and strawberry cookies sound delicious. Oh my goodness, I love both of those things. That's going to be fantastic. Uh, hello, kitty mug. Ah, that must be what's so wrapped up here in this tissue. And clanky. How is it clanky, though? I hope that doesn't mean anything broke. Oh, oh, it's not. It's got a lid. Wow, that's fancy. Ah, it's so cute. It's got a little hello kitty head on the top. Ah. It's pink and it's stripy and it says Hello Kitty and it's got her little head here on the top of the, uh, the I guess it's got a lid so you can put your tea in there and it doesn't get cold right away as you're steeping it. That's wonderful. Uh, I've been thinking lately that I should try really hard to switch from my soda to tea. Um, it's not easy to do, but I think it would improve my overall, um, I don't know, everything. It's probably time for me to work on that a little harder. So I have been drinking a bit more tea lately. I've got this, um, it's a chai vanilla because I like stuff that's a little bit sweet and I like a lot of caffeine. So it's a black tea and uh, it's good. It's, uh, I, think it's, I think it's the Bigelow brand, some common brand of uh, the vanilla chai. And uh, it's, it is a little sweet and a little vanilla and very chai. Uh, it's good stuff, really. 
So, uh, let's see. Hello, my good for tea, coffee, other hot beverages. I love the Hello Kitty on top to keep things warm. Yes, indeed. We have a plush chick. It is a plush chick. It's very Easter. It's got big eyes and a rainbow uh, shell, which is perfect for decorating in our little rainbow room, perhaps. It says, human decoration. I thought it was cute and sparkly. It is very sparkly. Hopefully the kittens don't destroy it. Maybe they will not be interested. LOL. Please enjoy and have a happy Mother's Day from Karen. Love, Karen. Karen, thank you so much. We love you, too. And uh, thank you for taking care of us and the kittens. And I'm going to use your box here to put this stuff into so that it can go where it belongs. Uh, I guess... Why not put a little extra tissue in here while we're at it? The ones that are already wrinkled up we'll put in, and then the rest of it I'll bring downstairs, the stuff that's not wrinkled up yet. There's a kitten in there. It looks like cashmere, maybe? Could be PJ. I can't tell them apart at a glance. And whoever it is is playing with the tissue. And I think you can see there's a kitten on top, Rafter, of course, on top. Okay, there we go, put that in there. Then we can put this in here to go downstairs. Okay, there's one more box, everybody. Just because I'm packing up doesn't mean we're entirely done here. Okay, just trying to get things a little organized. So... Um, I'm going to send one of these downstairs right now, too, even though I'm sure I'll regret that. The tunnels is uh, what I meant. Okay. So, one more thing, then. There's one final box here. It's come a long way uh, from the UK, apparently. Oh, you want to stand on the box? Why? Why is that all of a sudden a thing? Okay, this has got some tabs. It's going to be tricky. Hang on a minute here. We'll sort this out. We'll get this thing open. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. Oh, wow. What a box. I know who this is from. Now, as soon as I see what's in it, and it says, Good morning, Mr. A and Dr. DJ. Uh, hope you both, I hope you are both well. Here, you guys can see what's in it, too, a little bit. See if you can guess what it is and who it's from. Uh, enclosed. Well, now it's just going to give it right away. Oh, hope you're both well. Mr. A, look after that back of yours. Mine is still trying to kill me. Yeah, I've been, um, I've been really treating it poorly and it's, it's getting even right now. Uh, that gardening work yesterday, um, was, I knew I was straining it a little bit. Also, uh, I think, uh, I, my shoulders lifting that shovel over and over again. It's, uh, probably turn out to be good exercise in the end, but um, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it today. Um, enclosed are the KA named rings for cuddles and her cuddlets. Uh, something about this box is, is very enticing to you, isn't it? It's open and you still want to stand in it. It must smell real good to you, huh? You do not smell real good to me. Oh my goodness, you're a little gassy. Um, Let's see. Uh, enclosed the K-name rings for cuddles and her cuddlelets and also for skylight and her skylightlets with doorway hanging toy each. Also, one for deployment at K-A. Two special named rings for barrier and giant chain. Aw, giant chain. Uh, which has a ribbon for tying around his neck if he has one. Or remove the ribbon and uh, the eye if need be. Well, let's see what that's all about. Many thanks to the behind-the-scenes people for their contribution to KA. Wait, there's more! Uh, okay, hang on. So this is Giant Shane, and it's a very cute little named ring. Uh, it's blue. There's uh, Skylight has this pink one, again, with the door-hanging toy, like you said. That's beautiful for her. What a lovely sort of strawberry color. Uh, Gable gets this lovely blue. Joyce, adorable. Alcove, super cute. Rafter, wow, you've made a lot of these, they're great. This is one for Barrier, who is, uh, by the way, on the 
air purifier in the other room still, so it's not like he's disappeared, but you might not be able to see him from the cameras very well. He's, he's still in there. Uh, this is Marshmallow. Deploy for KA. Oh, well, look at that. We can deploy it right now. Let's try it out in here and see what they think. So this is, the, oh, the door hanging toy, though. Oh, do I need to deploy it on the door? What is, how does this work? Let's find out. I see. This has got a little hook on this end with uh, what appears to be a sticker on it so we can stick it to something. And then how does the rest of this, uh, let's see. I think if we, I can figure this out. I'm, I'm a smart guy. Uh, <laughs> how did it get, I think it's got to go through there though, doesn't it? There we go. No, I did mess it up. I put that through there and it, it was on the right side to start with. See, that's what I mean when I say I'm a smart guy. Okay. Hang on. Wow. Oh, Skylight, with you around, I am definitely a fart smeller. Okay. There we go. Now I see it. So it's a long, long string with a poof ball on the end. And on this side, it's got a little sticker that you can stick onto, I suppose, a door or anything you want. And then the spring in the middle is uh, going to make it all bouncy. And I bet I could stick this sticker right onto the top piece of glass on that door there. And it would work out pretty well. You want to try it right now, kiddo? I should probably wash the window before I stick something on it so it'll stay. But I'm going to try it just the way it is and see. Oh, this, like, this looks like it might be that uh, sort of gel stick stuff that can be... Oh, maybe not. Okay. Let's see. Uh, hang on, I know I'm interrupting right in the middle of going through all these things, but let's just put it up right meow because I can see somebody wants it and has wanted everything that's in here. It is pretty much door length. I guess you could stick it through the door if you didn't have this glass right here. That's going to be fun. It is exactly the right length to be here. I'm just holding this for adhesive for one second. Hopefully it'll stay. We'll see. And the, the little stick-on cup has got a, um, a little uh, like safety hook on it so that you can put other toys on there or take the toy off if you need to. That's convenient. Okay, hang on. There's just a couple more of these. This is for cashmere in this lovely blue. And cuddles. And pajamas. And finally... Ooh, hot chocolate gets this hot chocolate colored one. That's a little different. I like it. Okay. But as you say, uh, wait, there's more. See in box. The box also says, and there's more. There's more. All right, what more? Uh, well, see in box. Okay. Aw, it says sugar gives a boost to the system for you using the treadmill. And uh, I'm guessing this is some sort of candy then wrapped up in paper here for me. Let's take a look. Oh, it's pavlovian. My mouth is watering. Uh, ooh, oh, wow. It's, it's Cadbury mini eggs bar. So it's a Cadbury chocolate bar. And they, their chocolate is really good. But it's got little tiny micro mini eggs in the chocolate bar. Micro mini eggs. Oh, that's that's yummy. Oh, man, I really want to eat that. Uh, um, okay, take care from, of course, Charlie. We all know. Purrs and Meows from Weirdo, who's still weird and not losing weight, Kevin. He's catching up to our friend Custard. Well, all right. Uh, maybe he needs a Cadbury mini eggs bar so that he can get on the treadmill for a while, too. Uh, Charlie, thank you so much. It is really, really wonderful and generous of you to make these adorable little name um, rings for everybody. And I know the kittens love playing with them. Loganberry is outside the door and he wants to play with that toy. <laughs> he's, he's looking at it and meowing. Now he's standing up and trying to reach it through the door. Oh man, you guys, can you see that? Can I zoom in on him real quick? Hang on. Let's just see if I can. If he's going to keep doing it. Well, of course, now he stops being all cute about it. He's just sitting there staring at, oh, staring daggers at me. Buddy, what did I do? It's not my fault the door is closed. He could come in here, of course. He gets along just fine with kittens in general. There's no reason for him not to come in. Uh, although I think 
Cal is still out in the house, and she has been very angry at this door. I don't know how she would actually react if she got to meet uh, in person, but I don't want to find out, considering... Logan Berry, do you want to come in and try to play with that thing or some kittens or something? Oh, wow, what is that in your ear? You got some bad earwax going on? Eh, okay, it's not horrible, but yeah, you could use a little bit of a cleaning, couldn't you? I guess there was just a chunk. Okie dokie. Well, um, that was mailbag. Thanks, everybody. That's uh, it was. It's always wonderful. You're so generous to us, and you're so generous to the kittens. I know um, that that their doctors appreciate all of it. The extra uh, endowments when when um, when Monday and holiday got picked up yesterday, they of course were flying back and so we had to try to fit everything that we could into one large luggage and it does not fit in one large luggage although I feel like I did a pretty good job uh, since I knew that they were going to be flying and would have to try to make things fit I sort of left out a lot of the extra stuff that would normally get included I just put in the stuff that was like real specifically sent for them and we managed to get almost all of it in there except for a couple of the larger items. The, there were a couple beds that didn't fit, a couple blankets that didn't fit, and the ball tracks and towers that we just couldn't fit. So I put all those in a box and I explained to their adopter um, as honestly as I could that I would be happy to mail them to her. But my track record shows, and I said this just so that she would have her expectations set correctly, it could be a long time before that mailing happens. Uh, I'm so sorry about that, um, but I guess I just know who I am now. Um, so, uh, so yeah, that's the case. But then I, um, I guess this probably was on the stream when it happened. Um, I, I put all the stuff in the, in the luggage to help her out. And then I really wanted to give them that sort of lavender colored marshmallow bed, the big one that they've been sleeping in so often, because I like to send them something familiar that they've actually had around. And they, they both like that, um, you know, they snuggle up together and sleep together fairly often. So to get it to fit, though, I had to sort of fold it and then I had to sort of crush it in there with my knee on the luggage and then try to close the thing. And I was like, oh, man. If somebody opens this at the airport to inspect it, it is literally just going to explode with cat toys and stuff everywhere. So um, I guess it all must have made it there okay, though, or she would have said. But uh, yeah, it was a, it's, it's a real challenge. They, you guys are, are super generous, and one large luggage bag uh, definitely doesn't cut it for the endowments anymore. I remember when it was just DJ and I, and we first sort of started sending things with the kittens that were adopted, it was... Uh, in the before times, really, because it was before, um, um, it was when back when we were working with a shelter that would have us take the kittens to a pet store to get them adopted out, and that was just, it was painful for us. Um, you know, I, I don't think there's necessarily anything inherently wrong with that. Um, you know, you've got to find homes for kittens however you can, but it was really painful for us. Uh, but my point being that back then, uh, DJ and I started giving out uh, little gift bags for the kittens, and we would use one of those little paper lunch bags that you brought to school when you were a kid, probably. Um, and th even that wouldn't be entirely full. <laughs> and so it's just it's just funny to think how how far um, the endowments have come since then, and how generous you all are for the kittens that that get adopted through Kitten Academy. It means a lot to me. And, um, you know, if it does uh, in any way help the kittens get adopted, then it's all worthwhile, um, I think. And even if it doesn't, I think that it's the, the adopters still have to appreciate it so much. I know I do. Um, yeah. So, all right. Uh, I'm going to get up and get this stuff put away. And thank you again so much. Uh, I'm going to switch the, the mic over now. Let's do that.
I don't know where Cal is. Did Cal get put away downstairs? I told DJ that if Cal started causing trouble, uh, that she could put her in the room downstairs. No, no, door's still open. So if she's down there, it's by choice. All right, fair enough. Okay, let's get this stuff put away, Sky. All right. You're going to have to stay in here, though, because if Cal is out there roaming around, I just don't want you guys to meet. I'd rather not know. It says right here on this box, take care when cutting any sealing tape. I think they know. Uh, it's basically like a built-in knife guard, isn't it? Also, who puts tape on the ceiling? This is all to head downstairs. I think I'm going to be lazy and just put it in the hall. It'll go downstairs when I go down. No, no, no. What did I just say? You stay in here right now. I know. I know. You're. No, 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 no. I don't want you guys to meet. No, I just don't. There's no point in that. You don't need to meet. We don't have to try to make you guys friends, all right? Who knows? Maybe they would be just fine. Okay. This stuff has got to be going to various places. Uh, we've got the extra spare tunnel. What do I do? I guess I put this over in the cleaning room where the other ones are. Okay, one more thing I gotta bring with me. Oh, and this. All right, kids. Oh, 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 it's time for you guys to settle in for a nap, I guess. I feel like I could use one myself. I'm at least gonna go sit around for a while. Let my back just, just relax. Just relax for a bit. I uh, hope all of you get a chance to just relax today, too. It's a good day for it. Uh, thanks again. All right. Take care, kiddos.